And we're going to turn now to another developing story this morning. This one from the Wall Street Journal reporting evidence that Chinese and Russian operatives have mapped out the U.S. power grid and planted little electronic time bombs along it. Exactly who is doing this and why? We turn to ABC News consultant, former presidential cybersecurity expert Richard Clark. Thanks, Dick, for being with us this morning. Uh, so Good morning. What does this say to you? Who is this? And is this serious? It's very serious. I think the government has known for several years that China and Russia and other countries have created offensive cyber war units and have penetrated American networks, including the electric power grid, which is pretty easy to penetrate. And that allows them in a time of war or a time of crisis to go in and shut off the electric power and to actually destroy generators uh, throughout the United States. Congress has been informed about this. The Obama administration has been informed about this as well. But what does this say to us about the Chinese in particular? Because there was another story in the New York Times recently that said the Chinese were subsidizing hackers to go into 103 countries, 1,300 computers hack into them. What does it say about the Chinese and their adversarial relationship with the rest of the world? Well, I wouldn't be sure that the Chinese are the only ones. I wouldn't be sure that the United States isn't doing the same sort of thing. Modern countries are creating cyber offensive warfare units. The thing is that you also have to do the defense. And the Obama administration, although it's been informed about this, has yet to make the necessary decisions to create a defense for our electric power grids and other vital systems. Congress is considering a bill by Senator Rockefeller, but the Obama administration yet hasn't made a decision. So it can be prevented, and can you do anything about these little electronic time bombs already planted? Well, one thing you can do is disconnect the power grid control system from the internet. There's no reason for it to be connected. It would cost a lot of money to do that, but it also cost a lot of money if one day we woke up and we didn't have electric power. We are in the 21st century, to be sure. Thanks so much. Good to have you with us, Richard Clark. Thank you. Thank you.